Hey, Joy Blue here, and we want to talk about the AND and OR statement within the SQL language. And so I need a new query here. I'm going to pull up the data from our SQL Online Training, our SQL Training Online Simple DB. I need to get into that database, and I need to select star from the customer table. I'll execute that, and so we have some customers in here. Now, I want to do a couple of things. So first, I want to get into our WHERE clause, which we've talked about in a previous video. Um, and I want to say customer company equals Dell. And so this here will give us a filter down to Dell. Now, what if we want to get um, Dell and HP records? In that case, we would have to use the OR clause. So we want customer company to equal Dell, or we want customer company to equal HP. And then we can keep tacking those on. I want to see what else we've got in this table. And so we could also do uh, Walmart. And so if we want to keep adding OR clauses, we can. Customer company equals Walmart. And you can see we just keep building onto that list. So with the ORs, we can keep going. Um, there's another way to do this. Instead of the OR, we can use the IN clause, which I'll introduce right here real quick. And I'll just say IN Dell, HP, or Walmart. And so the end clause will do the same thing. We should get the same list. And so the end clause is a shorthand way of doing what we just did originally. Now the other statement I want to introduce in the where clause is the and statement. So let's look at our customer table again. And I want to pull out any records where the customer company is Dell and the customer name starts with a D. And so let's see how we would do that. So we were going to say customer company um, equals Dell and that'll first give us our initial filter but we want to add extra filters to that so we say and customer name equals in this case I'll say Diana and that will give us a filter down to the record we're wanting to look at so that's an introduction into the or and the and clause of the SQL language.